We've reached a crucial point in our thrilling comic series, just one issue away from the epic conclusion. In this video, we finally uncover the origin story of the Starship Hulk, revealing the enigmatic magician who aided Banner. Now let's pick up where we left off. We find Doctor Strange and Doctor Sasquatch on their way to Tony Stark's lab, nestled in the magnificent Wonder Woman mountain. Their mission? To use Tony's portal and reach Bruce. However, upon their arrival, an intriguing conversation unfolds. Doc Samson Sasquatch expresses understanding towards Doctor Strange for his actions within Bruce's mind, providing assistance in his time of need. Surprisingly, Doctor Strange denies any involvement, stating that the magic used on Bruce was unknown, ancient, and formidable. Curiosity piqued, Doctor Strange decides to investigate further, acknowledging that he must comprehend the nature of this mysterious magic. But before we delve deeper into this tale, let's take a moment to flash back to the past. This flashback reveals the events leading up to Bruce's creation of the Starship Hulk. The enigmatic magic user addresses Bruce, proclaiming the absence of the Hulk and emphasizing that Bruce now possesses complete control. The magic's influence has taken root, shaping a cognitive environment that should soon materialize. With these words, the magic user enters Bruce's mind, inviting him to embark on a journey through his newfound mental palace. To our surprise, it turns out that the puzzling magician is none other than Doctor Strange himself. Yes, we witnessed Doctor Strange denying involvement earlier, but as the story unfolds, all will become clear. At this juncture, Doctor Strange explains to Bruce that what they are experiencing exists within his mind, a realm filled with limitless possibilities. In the depths of Bruce's mind, he realizes that he alone holds control. The enigmatic Doctor Strange discloses his utilization of new magic, a profound feat that empowers Bruce to wield the Hulk according to his terms. However, a strict condition accompanies this newfound power, absolute secrecy. Doctor Strange grants Bruce an additional spell to facilitate communication and guidance, allowing direct contact between them should any questions arise, but fate had other plans in store. Soon after, a catastrophic incident occurs in El Paso, where Bruce's blackout at a local bar triggers a chain reaction, causing others to succumb to the Hulk's rage. In a horrifying display, Bruce mercilessly tears his assailants apart. Thor issue 25, specifically Banner of War, unveils a more detailed account of this tragic event. Subsequently, Bruce reaches out to Doctor Strange, employing the spell bestowed upon him within the Mind Palace. Upon learning of the El Paso catastrophe, Doctor Strange finds himself puzzled by the occurrence and uncertain of the underlying cause. He assures Bruce to remain patient, confident that a resolution will materialize. However, time is off their side as the search for Bruce intensifies. In a moment of despair and resolve, Bruce deliberately provokes a transformation into the Hulk, declaring his exhaustion with endangering others. He proclaims his desire to spend the remainder of his existence seeking solace within the enigma of Sismos. In this place, he and the Hulk can fade away in isolation without harming anyone else. With a final farewell, Bruce leaps from the building, cautioning Doctor Strange not to pursue him. Stunned by Bruce's abrupt departure, Doctor Strange murmurs that this was not part of the plan. We shall return to this crucial aspect in due time. Subsequently, our attention shifts to Free Comic Book Day 2021, a two-part issue providing a tantalizing glimpse into the forthcoming events leading to Avengers The Death Hunters and Avengers Forever Volume 2. In the second part of the Free Comic Book Day issue, we witness the Hulk launching a fierce assault on AIM, as referenced in the early pages of Hulk Volume 5. This two-part issue finally unveils the actual attack that takes place. In issue 13 of Volume 5, the truth is revealed. Bruce, fully in control, infiltrates AIM to steal their advanced technology and transform himself into the Starship Hulk. This event occurs after Bruce's disappointing conversation with Doctor Strange, which doesn't unfold as Bruce had hoped. To provide further context, at the time, MODOK had been working on a plan to propel AIM into space and potentially colonize the moon. Bruce humorously dismisses these ambitions in his monologue, drowning out MODOK's explanations. It's a toss-up between Bruce's disrespect and the antics of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania in terms of who offended MODOK more. Nevertheless, we learn that MODOK already possessed an abundance of space-related hardware, technology, and inventory, precisely what Bruce sought. During Bruce's infiltration of the AIM base, MODOK deploys a colossal, smashing, oriented organism, a peculiar suit that somewhat balances out the proportions of MODOK's head. Whether it's pronounced Godos or God-OS, Bruce deems it irrelevant. The outcome is straightforward, 
Bruce obliterates Modok and leaves him incapacitated. With everything he needs to be secured from the AIM base, Bruce flees, leaving Modok behind in a burning building moments before its explosive demise. The events of this encounter were previously mentioned in Hulk Volume 5, Episode 1, and showcased in the free comic book day issue of 2021. However, in issue 13, we witness the excruciating process as Bruce tears himself apart, integrating the starship components into his body. Bruce's self-loathing becomes strikingly evident as he violently rips out his hair and splits his skull apart with his bare hands to implant the starship components into his brain. The depiction of these events and their true interconnectedness is truly captivating. Initially, there were doubts about this being a true Hulk story and questioning why Banner would go to such extremes. However, as the narrative unfolds, we witness the backstory of the Starship Hulk creation and it starts to make sense. Bruce believed he had gained full control over the Hulk, only to black out and lose control again, resulting in tragic deaths. His pursuit of isolation aligns with the Hulk's desire to be left alone with the added motivation of preventing further loss of life. Returning to Doctor Strange and Doctor Samson, Strange opts not to physically enter Bruce's mind, a decision that can hardly be blamed. Instead, he sends his astral projection to locate Banner and make their way to the Hulk planet. Meanwhile, we shift back to Bruce, or rather the Titan Hulk, who is overwhelmed and pushed the engine room beyond its limits. The Titan Rampages wreak havoc on the inhabitants of this world. Some, like Monolith and Brutal, sustain severe facial damage, but being Hulks, they regenerate repeatedly. However, it becomes apparent that not everyone possesses such resilience. When Brutal attempts to confront the Titan Hulk, he is swiftly impaled and melts beyond the point of recovery, exceeding his healing abilities. The situation grows increasingly dire as countless Hulks suffer brutal defeat. Previously, Pave had been retrieving and returning organs to facilitate healing, but now it seems futile. Amid this chaos, Doctor Strange arrives and witnesses the Titan Hulk's destructive rampage. He swiftly enters Bruce's mind, encountering a series of familiar symbols adorning the walls. Inside and out, the tension escalates. Outside, Monolith witnesses Brutal's demise and urges all the Hulks to attack the Titan. Unfazed, the Titan Hulk welcomes their assault, knowing that even an entire planet of Hulk stands no chance against him. As the battle ensues, Strange takes action within Bruce's mind, confronting the Titan as he sits in the captain's chair. This development gives Monolith and the others hope as they observe the Titan Hulk's temporary slowdown. After the Titan Hulk expels Doctor Strange from his mind, Strange realizes who is responsible for the situation. However, he doesn't have time to explain it to Doc Samson and quickly leaves to retrieve something or someone. Back on the Hulk planet, with a Titan no longer distracted, he mercilessly attacks and melts numerous Hulks, leaving no doubt that they never stood a chance. To make matters worse, the Titan Hulk slams the ground so forcefully that the impact creates visible ripples that shake the entire planet. With the devastating destruction and loss of countless lives, Pave realizes they need to evacuate the remaining survivors. However, Monolith chooses to stay behind and confront the Titan. Meanwhile, Doctor Strange retrieves the orb he was searching for, unable to explain its significance to Doc Samson. He sends his astral form back into Bruce's mind. As Strange returns to the Hulk planet, he finds it considerably less crowded and laments the immeasurable loss of life in the past few minutes. When Doctor Strange re-enters Bruce's mind, Monolith leaps towards her seemingly impending death. He instructs the imprisoned figure within the orb to emerge and dismantle what he has built. Inside his physical form, Doctor Strange reveals that the captive within the orb is Despair, an ancient demon created by the Dweller in Darkness and a member of the Fear Lords. Despair can induce fear by absorbing and reflecting negative emotions as illusions. He also exhibits impressive speed, strength, and durability. In his first appearance, he demonstrated his superiority to Spider-Man by overpowering him in a fight against the Man-Thing. Furthermore, Despair caused the Man-Thing, who fears himself, to burn at his touch. It is revealed that Despair disguised himself as Doctor Strange and constructed the Mind Palace, but he was ultimately serving someone else's agenda. When Bruce went off on his own and broke into AIM, Despair's comment about it not being part of the plan suggests that he may have been a pawn in someone else's scheme to bring forth the Titan Hulk. However, the Mastermind's full details and identity remain to be revealed at the story's conclusion. As the battle intensifies, Despair destroys the Mind Palace from within while Monolith continues to engage the Titan Hulk on the outside. These actions further enrage the Titan Hulk, who unleashes his fury. In a display of his immense strength, he tears off a piece of Monolith's horns. To everyone's surprise, the Titan Hulk then does something unexpected. 
he begins pulling Doctor Strange's physical body through the portal from the outside to the inside. Despite Doc Samson's attempts to stop the process, the Titan Hulk pulls them inside. In the Hulk's mind, Doctor Strange realizes it is too late. The Titan Hulk has gained full control, and he expresses a sense of despair and impending doom. He believes that the Hulk planet, other planets, and everything in their path are doomed. The situation seems dire and without hope. That's it, folks. And as Stan Lee would say, Excelsior! Please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get up to speed on related Marvel comic book titles. Thank you for watching, and bye!